welcome to this video. In this video, let's understand the implementation of logic gates using transmission gates. First, let us understand what is a transmission gate. Transmission gate is a MOS device. It will be having N MOSFET as well as P MOSFET. The two transistors are connected in parallel. Here in the two transistors, the gates are connected with the control input and the pass value if you are going to provide it as A, the output will be available as A itself. It will be depending on the control input. Let me take the gate of the N transistor is C and gate of the P transistor is C bar. When C is equal to 1 and C bar will be obviously 0, in this case whatever the value I am going to provide from A will be available at output Y. Suppose when C is equal to 0, obviously C bar is equal to 1, in this case Y will be high impedance state, means the output will be tri-stated to Z. By using this method, we can construct any CMOS digital circuit and let us understand what happens when we are going to connect this transmission gate parallelly like this. Let me take the input pass value as A here and this as B and this is B bar and let me pass one more value as C here and let me take it as the control input D and here I am going to pass D bar. If this is the case, the first transmission gate is going to provide the output as A into B and the second transmission gate is going to provide the output as C into D. If I am going to connect the two outputs like this, the output will be added up and A into B plus C into D will be the output. By using this method, we can construct any digital circuit. Let us understand how to construct AND gate by using this transmission gate. The truth table of AND gate says A into B is the output. Here we will be having four different combination of inputs and A into B will be the output. So to construct this using a transmission gate, we require two transmission gates since we have two inputs here A and B. So I need to connect the transmission gates in this way and outputs are going to be connected. Let me assign the value B as my control input. Obviously the P transistor gate will be having B bar. Here also the second transmission gate P transistor will be having B and N transistor gate will be having B bar. By taking one of the inputs like this, now I can decide what is my pass value. So for the first transmission gate, when B is the, the control input, whatever the value I am going to provide from here, that will be multiplied with B and that will be my output. So let me understand this transmission gate as when the control input is 1, the output will be my pass value. So here we need to understand the first transmission gate will pass the value when B is equal to 1 and second transmission gate will pass the value when B is equal to 0. Since P transistor will be having the gate input 0 and in this case N transistor will be having gate input 1 then only I am going to get the pass value at the output. So in this truth table let me consider when B is equal to 1. When B is equal to 1 the output is 0 1 as it is the input A. So when B is equal to 1, my output is same as A. So here I am going to get A dot B as output. And in the second transmission gate, whenever B is equal to 0, I am going to get the output. So when B is equal to 0 case, I will be having 0 1 as input and output will be 0 0. To get the output as 0 0, irrespective of A, I need to pass 0 value from here. Then only when B is equal to 0, I am going to get 0 at output. When I am going to connect these two, I am going to get the output as A dot B plus 0 into B bar. Here 0 into B bar is obviously 0, so finally my output is A into B. This is how AND gate can be implemented using transmission gates. Now let us understand how to implement R gate. In R gate, I will be having the output 0, 1, 1, 1. And again, this first transmission gate will pass the value when B is equal to 1 and this is my B bar. Again I am using this B bar here so that second transmission gate is going to pass the value when B bar is equal to 1. So let me consider B is equal to 1 case. When B is equal to 1 the output will be 1. So when B is equal to 1 if I, if I am going to connect this to logic 1 or to VDD it is representing logic 1. It is going to pass 1. So this case is over. Now I need to look for B is equal to 0. 
this b is equal to 0 means i am using second transmission gate to transmit my output when b bar is equal to 1 this will be transmitting the output so in my truth table b is equal to 0 cases i need to treat when b is equal to 0 a is 0 here a is 1 the output will be 0 1 as it is a so i am going to pass a from here so that the output will be a plus b over here this is r gate similarly if i am going to implement nand gate with the same circuit let me take again it has b bar this is common point b and this is again b bar here also i need to first check for the first transmission gate with the input b is equal to 1 here b is equal to 1 in this case the output of the transmission gate is 1 0 it is exactly complement to the input a so i need to pass a bar from here so that i am going to get the output for b is equal to 1 cases when b is equal to 0 if i look at the truth table these two are the cases i will be having b is equal to 0 and output will be 1 and 1 so irrespective of the input output is coming as 1 means i need to pass logic 1 from this by connecting it to vdd this is logic 1 this is how i can get the output as a dot b whole bar now let us see how to implement nor gate nor gate gives the output as 1 only when a and b are 0 0 in other cases output will be 0 again in the transmission gate i am going to pass the control inputs like this b b bar and this is b bar the first transmission gate is going to produce the output when b is equal to 1 and second transmission gate is going to produce the output when b is equal to 0 so let me take the b is one cases here the output will be 0 so when b is equal to 1 i need to get the output as 0 means i will be connecting this to ground if this is 0 i am going to get 0 output when b is equal to 1 in the other two cases when b is equal to 0 i will be having exactly complementary to the input value a if i am going to provide a bar from here i am going to get the output as a plus b whole bar this is the implementation of nor gate now let us go to the xr gate xr gate is going to provide the output 1 1 in these two cases so i need to look for b is equal to 1 cases in these two cases exactly reverse to a the output will be when a is equal to 0 i am getting output as 1 when a is equal to 1 i am going to get output as 0 so i am going to pass a bar from here and similarly if you look at b is equal to 0 case when b is 0 output will be same as a here also same as a so i am going to pass a as it is from this so you can observe here the first transmission gate will be having a bar input and b for the gate of n transistors so i can write it as a bar b is the output here and here in the second transmission gate i will be having a and n transistor gate will be having b bar so it is a into b bar so the output will be a bar b plus a into b bar this is how the implementation of xr gate will be the xnr gate will produce one and one over here in this case if i look at b is equal to one cases the output will be zero over here and one over here it is same as a so i am going to provide a here and b is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 cases if i look at it is exactly reverse to a means it is complementary to a i am going to pass it as a bar again if i apply the same rule it is a into b from the first transmission gate and here it is a bar into b bar so the output will be a into b plus a bar into b bar this is the expression for x nor gate this is how we can implement any logical expression by using transmission gates Thank you.